What is up, YouTube? Today we are back with another Guild War video and we are fighting against Tempest as you guys can see in the title. And uh, one thing I actually just wanted to talk about is um, I recently got a sponsorship. I'm currently sponsored with Factor as you can see on the bottom left. And uh, if you don't know what Factor is, it's basically kind of like HelloFresh, right? But rather than, you know, buying a meal and you have to cook it and cut and whatever and follow the instructions, you just you know, pop the gourmet meal straight into the microwave. Um, it's got a ton of good diet options. So if you're doing like keto, if you have, you know, cholesterol, if you want to send it for your family, if you're looking for just something like high protein, if you're trying to build muscle in the gym, or if you're just trying to generally lose weight uh, and you're the type of person that orders a lot of Uber Eats or DoorDash or skip the dishes or whatever it is in your country, um, why not give um, Factor 75 a try? Well, it is US based only. So sorry to everyone that's not in US. Uh, but yeah, if you guys do want to give it a try, uh, I have a 50% link in the description below so if you want to give it a try let me know and shoot me a dm if you do uh, i'll be really appreciative of that and i'll uh, give you a you know a gift if you know what i mean um but yeah anyways let's just jump straight into the guild war battle today we are fighting against tempest like i said and like comment subscribe you guys know what to do help me with the algorithm i love you guys let us go straight ahead all right so for our first attack of today we'll be hitting dormina and we are hitting uh Eufine, aiden and spirit isoline so you're going to need a bit of a dark bait. So I was kind of thinking Rocket Punch Pillars because obviously, you know, the meta is shifting in RTA. Um, but I think Dark Horpus is probably going to be better after discussing with the guildies um, just because he's going to be an overall just super tank, right? And if we run Rocket Punch Pillars, uh, we don't have a guarantee of killing the AU Fiend, right? If we have to run a tank uh, in case they're Holy Sack or something like that. So we're going to go with uh, Dark Horpus because obviously he has Extinction on S3 in case this is going to be a Holy Sacrifice on the AU Fiend. Now I'm going to put his damage calculation on screen now. Um, that's going to show that even on a non soul burn S3, which we might not have enough souls, um, this will still kill the AU Fiend without any issue, right? Now, uh, second unit we're going to have for mitigation is going to be Yulha with Aureus. So we have 31k HP uh, with Yulha. Uh, just basically not much to say, right? She's just going to hold the damage, try to mitigate some transfer, some damage off of the DC, and then S3 to drop a kill, maybe on Aiden, maybe on Celine, who knows. Um, and then we have uh, Doris. Now, I was kind of considering Ruel, since Ruel is a bit of a uh, reviver, uh, in case, you know, what if it's a, a double torrent pen set, uh, Alexis Basket Aiden that just one shots me with dust double Celine on the Dark Corvus, right? Um, but I don't think they'll be able to kill with through POV plus Aureus, unless they're like, really slow like base speed but uh yeah hopefully that's not the case um so yeah we have doris here because obviously she's one of the best um dark baits in the game because obviously even if a fiend goes into her you're very unlikely to kill i mean i'd say probably impossible unless you're soul burning with no ori is present uh so that should be fine uh for the bottom it's gonna be ocean breeze luluka navy captain landy and urban shadow shoe so i'm gonna be going with emil ken here now, Emelkin is going to be on Golden Rose. That's going to be the BIS. Uh, now, I did take a look at the damage of plus 30 Drake Plate versus plus 15 Golden Rose. And plus 15 Golden Rose is still going to do... It does about 400 damage less, but it gives you the ability to heal if you fall under 50%, which I think is pretty big um, in the sense that maybe if, you know, Candy S1s you and then Salvos and it's a lot of damage and it pushes you under 50, Draco is not really going to give you that kind of survivability that the Golden Rose is going to have, right? So it's kind of a hybrid of like, Golden Rose, Sacred Scythe, damage, right? Um, so anyway, uh, basically, you just want to go with Destro and Pen. Now, I did consider switching this over to an HP boot, uh, which I'll show you in just a second, um, which is this one for the added survivability. But I don't really think we want to go for survivability here. I think we want to neutralize the candy. We want to neutralize the shoe. Now, a common way of trapping Emil Ken attacks is having the Urban Shadow shoe with zero crit. Now, if you are planning on building a defense like this, you, hey, run a high speed Urban Shadow shoe with no crit, it'll work against Emil Ken great, right? Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be a DPS check. We need to kill a candy. We need to kill a shoe. And if if we do, well, for whatever reason, the, the Ocean Breeze Luluka does silence our, our DC. We still have Destina to cleanse us. Um, and obviously, Airwell S3 is going to be clutch when we need to maybe stun the shoe on maybe just like a turn order that's just a bit off. Um, and yeah, so let's just quickly show the Airwell. Obviously, whenever you're running Emil Ken, you will always want to have release health imprints. So Airwell and Destina... Obviously, you're going to put those towards the Emil Ken because he's the win con. He, you don't want him to die, right? And uh, funny enough, we're actually missing a HP uh, piece. So, um, yeah, I think... I, I mean, I think it's fine. 
I personally think it might be okay to leave it that. Okay, no, maybe maybe not. Maybe we'll swap it. We'll get twenty, almost twenty three k HP, right? Even though it's seventy five helms, we'll probably craft that after. Um, but yeah, it should be should be okay. So let us go right ahead. All right, so the Aiden is going to be ten point eight k HP on Moonlight Dreamblade, and so obviously, if you see Moonlight Dreamblade, it's not going to do that much damage. Uh, Spirit Isolene is going to be eight point five k HP here. So we're going to grab the CR bar, obviously, for the person who follow-ups on this attack. And I think in this spot, I'm just going to put S2 up. I mean, uh, Yufin's about to hit, so we might as well just S2 for defense buff and continuous healing. And it doesn't look like there's any form of injury from their side, so it looks like a pretty standard team from what I can see. Uh, I'm just going to S1 on Yufin here. Uh, I'm going to S1 on Aiden here. So that's El So we know it's Elbrus Yufin, which is good. And this is actually going to trigger our DC to have uh, S3 available. And Spirit Isolene is going to move. We just still don't know her artifact. It might be Dust Devil. Um, nothing came out though. Um, in this spot, I think what we could do is actually just S1 on Selene. Um, let me think. If I S1 on this and I dual attack, she gets max. That's not ideal. If I S1 this, she can proc Elbrus. That's not a big deal. I might get slammed into... If I crit, I get hit back though. But that'll give Yulha S3 availability. Um, yeah, I think the play is probably just hit this, right? Hit this makes sense. I mean, I could also just push... Uh, I could push DC down as well. Um, I could push DC down. Maybe, maybe that's the play. If we push DC down. But he's still going to cycle around. I can dump this plus dump this into this. So... Let's just let's just let's just go for this, right? Let's just go for this. We, it's 14k HP. It's fine. And uh, Yulha S3 here is gonna do about 6k damage, maybe. Uh, so we definitely can't kill Aiden with that amount. So I might actually hear S1 into Selene. And Selene's gonna move into my Dark Corpus. That's fine. And then Dark Corpus here, we're gonna dump S3 onto the AU Fiend here. Which should kill through, uh, with, even with non-soul burn. And the fact that it's not on holy sack is even better. So that's dead. Okay. Alright, so now I'm probably going to S1 aiding. Because if it misses, it's good for us. We want to charge up the DC as fast as possible. And obviously this AoE damage coming in is always good to lower the Yolha HP down. Um, so our Yolha HP is definitely coming down. So it is Dust Devil. So that we confirm. We're going to include in the report. Uh, so that's dead. So now we have about we're missing about 16k HP. So we know for a fact that this Aiden is gonna die, right? Um, but one of the main concern for me is Selene's gonna have S3 again. So that means if I don't kill with DC there, I'm going to actually let him come back. So I'm gonna S1 onto the Selene to provoke, and obviously the Aiden has S3 as well. So we provoke the Selene. We don't die. We're all good. All right. So this is where I'm actually just gonna heal up the dc because if you don't soul burn s3 you're not really going to heal that much um so we're just going to dump s3 now onto the aiden and that's good a bit of a boring attack but uh, hey i gotta you know it's a, it's a redemption arc right now right so we kill the aiden uh that's all good uh we also have effectiveness on the yulha so i'm just going to try to land another provoke here so we do so that at, at this point I could probably just S2, right? Because if she S1s and cleanses with uh, Dust Double, probably not that great. Um, so DC's going to have S3 again. We can't do... We're actually going to let her S3 again, which kind of sucks. But, I mean, at this point, we can't lose, right? As long as we can't lose, it doesn't matter even if this takes us a bit longer than we'd like. So, I don't mind. Uh, so we're just going to S1. And this is going to S1 as well. We actually crit, which... Eh, not not ideal. But the blind debuff is really nice here, so he doesn't heal that much. Maybe we blind oh we blind it again. If he doesn't dust devil, we should be fine here. We just win. Oh, okay, never mind, he dust devil. So we'll have to just hold. So she's definitely above fifty uh fifty percent HP now. She's just healing. She's just healing away. All good though. Uh we just S1. And I might as well just dump. Uh, if I crit, it's not ideal. I'm just gonna S3. 
Because if I S1 crit and then she dust doubles twice, like, kind of not ideal. So I might as well just do as much damage as I can, as I can with the DC here, and Yuha should be able to take a turn. And I can just S1 to kill, and then it's good. Nice. Now, looking into the second attack, we are looking at um, a very fast Urban Shadow Shoot. 20.5k HP on Golden Rose with immunity. So that's actually something I'd like to write down before I, get, I forget. So, uh, immunity... Immunity, immunity shoe, flawless garment, Luluka. Okay, so flawless garment we know it gives you stackable effectiveness. So in this state here, I want to take the screenshot as well. So let's think for a second, right? Uh, what's going to be my play here? I'm probably likely going to S3 on Arrowall onto the shoe. If I S2 push the DC. That means I could potentially get silenced. But that would also mean we get attack buff for the um, Emelkan. Now, I, got, I think one issue now is if we hit... She's going to hit this, and I'm going to go into this, and I might not kill because there's defense buff. And then my Aerial S3 is going to have to... If it doesn't land a stun, that means we're going to even take even more injury, which obviously is not optimal. So... If I S1, I could trigger a counter, I can trigger an Elbrus, and that's not ideal for us either. So, we have to play the odds, right? So, do we ever just S2 and potentially get silenced forever on Destina since we saw its flawless garment? That's kind of scary. That's kind of scary to me. So, I honestly think maybe the play is to push. Maybe it's just S1. I mean, if it Elbrus is, it's not really the end of the world, I think. Okay, so it did Elbrus. And it doesn't look like it's injury. Okay. Not exactly ideal situation, but uh, I'm just going to S3 onto the Shu. Like, I know I should let Shu hit us so that my Emokan can, can provoke, but I really don't feel that great letting her take a turn with the injury stacking. And this candy is pretty awake at the moment. So Ken's going to take a turn. We S1 counter. Um, don't quite one shot. It's 19k Landy. It's a lot of HP. Sorry, this is pretty scary. I'm pretty scared right now, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty scared. I'm very scared. I think I might... If I S1 and I trigger an Elbrus, she's going to dump S3 on my forehead, and I might die. If I S2, Luluk is going to proc, and then potentially silence us. If we get silenced, that means we won't be able to press S3 to heal. If we S3 to heal here, that means uh, um, Candy's going to take a turn into Emil Ken. Honestly, I think our play is probably S3. Right? Because if I S2 and then I S1, he Elbruses, and then he has Empowered S3 right away. And then she silences me. I think that's a really bad idea. So I think here in this spot, we probably S3. Glory. I think we definitely S3 here for sure. Yeah. Yeah, so Emelkin's going to move. Hopefully this guy doesn't salvo because he's going to heal to full again. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay, we're going to S1 this. Hopefully no salvo. And in this spot, I'm just going to go S3 here. Yeah, there's no reason for me to not S3, right? I'm going to S3. Uh, we death broke the shoe, which is good. And obviously this can silence. So we're going to find out real quick if this is going to land on Destina or not. Now, mind you, we no longer have our, our opening buff. But it looks like she doesn't have enough ER. All right, sorry, effectiveness, I mean. So Shu is going to S3 to Golden Rose. Um, she is death broken, so it just dies to Emelkin. Splendid. All right. All right. We are out of the fire. Beautiful. Okay. So in this spot, it's not much to really say. It's just the uh, push Emelkin down. And we Soul Burn S1. Yeah. Soul Burn S1. And then it's over. Nice. Yeah, we really had to think about that one for a little bit. But I think that was a good opportunity to really look through the steps before I made a decision. So that's good. So uh, moving over to the second attack then.
Okay, so for our second attack of today... Oh, let me hit a quick little... Anyways, you guys keep complaining in the comments about no flexes. So, um, we're hitting Lethal, and uh, it's going to be Airwell, Sharoon, and Candy. So, I'm going to be running uh, the Nakwal Cleave. So, we're going to be going with a Nakwal. Shout out to Dark and Kyle for setting this up, because I actually didn't really know what I'm doing. So, Nakwal is going to be on Warhorn, uh, just whatever speed gear you have. Zeo is going to be uh, holding our book. And he's going to be on just 100 crit chance, because if you have 100 crit, you have a 95% chance of hitting on the candy. And then uh, Jacko is going to be on portrait. So I'll put her damage calculation on screen now. In, on an 1800 defense Sharoon, she's probably dead, right? Um, but the idea here basically is Nako is going to Soulburn S3, S2, and onto the candy. And if it doesn't land seal, it's fine, because what we're doing is uh, Jacko is going to cut to the top. And then Jacko's going to S3 onto the Sharoon. And as long as it kills the Sharoon, we can then dump an S1 into the Candy. Because there's obviously Bind, they can't counter, right? And they're reset. So then the Zeo S3 is going to go into the Candy, which guarantees us 50. And then you S1 with Zeo as he comes back down, because he's going to be moving faster than the Arrow Well. And then you double crit into the, to the Candy, even if it's not sealed. And you play 3v1, and it's Jover. And honestly, this comp is low-key genius. So, yeah, Dark and or Kyle, like, this is great. Um, bottom is going to be Bellion, uh, AU Fiend, and Ocean Breeze. So we're going to be running um, uh, Airwell on Adamant Shield, Release Imprint, and Destina. Same thing, Release Imprint, um, HP, um, sorry, CR Pushing, EE, and then also Guardian Ice Crystals. And then Emboken, um, I considered putting him on HP Boots, but obviously HP Boots is not really necessary here because in this attack he they don't have a lot of front loaded damage and but what i mean by front loaded damage is they don't have any nuke abilities right like obviously like aiden has a gab it can be on a fast build blah 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 but none of these units can kind of take us out on the turn one or cause really that much trouble so it should be fine we just want to kind of you know go for a gear check dps calc and just pop them and should be fine so yeah let us go right ahead all right so get the speed for the guild obviously we're gonna Soul Burn S3 here. And that strips everything and it's bind. So it's counter Sharoon. We did see it's counter Sharoon. So that's something that we wanna make sure we include in the report. So I'm gonna go for a seal on here. All right, we sealed. It's, it's Jover, right? And it's counter Landy. So I'm just gonna dump S3 onto the Sharoon here. And the Sharoon should be dead. And yep. Not even close. And we're just going to S1 onto the um, to the candy. Not quite dead. But we can just S3 onto the candy here. And it's not dead because you're capped to how much damage you can do on S3. But I'm just going to S1 onto the candy here and go for a kill. Jackals are just going to finish it off. So even if we get a barrier, who cares? Not me. Um... Yeah. Oh, sorry. I mean, he has unbuffable. What am I saying? So he's dead. Uh, Jacko's going to S1 into the air well. And we basically just turn on auto at this point, right? I mean, um, yeah, we just turn on auto and we just watch him get spanked. And it is so they're all counter set. So definitely want to include that in the report for sure. Don't think this is going to kill, though. I'll be really surprised if this kills. Uh, that's a lot of damage, though. Damn. Okay. And do we have... Do we land on him? Let's see. We do land bind. Okay, so he's not really high ER. As most air was, you wouldn't be anyways. Uh, so that's fine. And let's see this uh, Zeo. He's going to S1 with attack buff. Pretty good damage. If he had pen set on Zeo, probably even better, but... I'm broke. I'm a poor guy. Um, Alright, so it's Guardian Ice Crystals, Mature Sunglasses. So what do you need to do? Take a screenshot for the next person. So... We can see that the Bellion is actually moving next, uh, which indicates that it's probably a high effectiveness Bellion. Um, and we kind of want to make sure... Hold on, let me think about this for a second. If it's Guardian Ice Crystals... If we S2 push the ML Ken to take a turn, we S3... Doesn't really do that much. Um... Um, hmm. I think. 
Do we ever S3 here? I mean, we'll get attack buff. We'll get attack buff. He'll get defense buff refreshed. He will might provoke me. But I think putting the attack buff is going to be really important here, right? For the for our Emelkan. So I think my play is actually probably just push. Because they're both going to take a turn here, and then Ocean Breeze is so far behind. Oh, wait, never mind. Fuck. Abyssal Yuffing cuts the CR. I keep forgetting about that. Okay, so it's 21.3k Bellion. So he didn't land. He didn't land any provokes. Okay, so I'm actually... We can't stun the Yuffie, but I want to strip that defense buff off. Because if I can strip that defense buff off, then Emelkan's going to have a lot more impact here. I mean... We can stun her. <clears throat> I was just testing you guys, obviously. I knew that. You know, obviously. Um, Alright, Emelkan's going to drop S3. Mature Sunglasses. We know it's not Holy Sack. We know it's not Elbrus. It is Counter Sabellion. Uh, okay, I think everything's fine. We might get stripped here, though. I'm expecting us to get stripped because most Ocean Breeze Lulukas do have effectiveness. But... Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, uh, this is counter set. This counter is... Yeah, who cares? Why not just S1 that? Emblekan's gonna move. Uh, ooh. Almost dead. Did he land debuffs on Emelkan? He did. Okay, so he has, he has some, he has some effectiveness. He's not completely no effectiveness. He has some. Uh, but this Yuffie is dead, dead. Is she a goner, goner? All right, Jover. Uh, oh wait, no, it is injury. They have injury. Uh, injury something. I don't know if it's Yuffie or Bellion. I'll have to look the report back, but they have some injury from somewhere. It might be Yuffie. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna S1 here into a... Well, that was a lot of healing, damn. Man, he's gonna come back around and... Okay, what if I stun? Imagine I stun. Imagine. I would not mind if he got stunned right now, right here. Okay, never mind, I'm coping. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to take another cycle of her doing her thing. But, um... All right, all the flexors are typing in the comments. Here you go, all right? I'm giving you guys what you want, all right? And, uh, yeah, we just take our time. Push her down. I don't really know. Oh, yeah, we definitely cleanse our Emoka in here and then just soul burn to kill her. Guess that's why you probably need, like, the attack boots with pen set, right? Nice. Okay, nice and clean. Nice and clean. No ins today. Wow, imagine. Uh, but, yeah, okay, moving over to the third attack of today. Alright, so for the last attack, we'll be hitting Sundays, and this is a Stronghold attack, so it is going to be scouted. So I will put the information on screen now. And uh, you can see there, overall, the team is pretty slow. Um, nothing too fast, not like a 300 shoe or anything like that. So I'm going to be operating with a 300, or not 300, sorry, a fast Basar on book, so that we can Soul Burn S3 and we can push back 30% um, on his S3, as, as you can see. Um, and then, obviously, this is POV, and um, we have Strays here on attack boots, which you'll see in just a moment. This UI is driving me nuts. Um, but this damage, um, I'll put on screen now. We're going to be able to kill the shoe through POV, no problem whatsoever, right? Uh, so we're going to do that. And then we have ML Ken on Golden Rose. So he's going to be release imprint because we don't need the ER. We have no non-attack skills that's going to actually activate the Summer Luka. And once the candy hits him, she might not explode right away, but she'll be pretty close to it. Um, and yeah, first team should be pretty clean. Then we 3v1 the Ocean Breeze, and then it's all good. Um, on the bottom, we're going to be running DC. I know, it's pretty boring. A lot of DC, but it's try-hard time, I guess. Or redemption time, whatever you call it. So we have uh, Adam and Shield, Release Imprint on Arrowell. And then we have Dark Corvus here on Prayer of Solitude. Now, uh, I was going to go POV, but um, Anini plus Meow made a good point that... If you already have Adamant Shield and Escort, like why not just go Prayer? You get the bonus HP, you do more damage so that you don't have to rely on souls. Makes sense. Um, and then Akades is going to be on Rod of Amaryllis. Just whatever spare gear that you got leaving, like hanging around, right? I got this ring here that's 21 speed. I don't even know what to do with it. So we're just going to put it on Akades and call it a day. And it should be pretty clean. So let's go right ahead. All right. So I'm going to get the CR bar just for people to follow up after. And then we're going to Soul Burn S3 here. 
So even if the candy counters, which she probably will. Oh, she didn't. Okay, that's cool. And yeah, we have 10% over. So we're just going to S3 onto the shoe. And she's going to die. She's dead. <laughs> and this cleanses for the for this dude. But I'm just going to put S2 down here. Uh, I, I just realized I probably shouldn't have um, blinded the candy, actually. That's a bit of a misplay, but um, all good, I guess. He salvos, he missed, he S1s. We actually... He actually crit, which is nice. So the misplay actually is S2ing on Basar. That I probably shouldn't have done that, but... Uh, yeah, whatever. All's good and fair. Whatever. All right, we stripped the defense buff. He's gonna come around. She's gonna come around to blind us, unfortunately. But we're not really in much any danger anymore, so it's kind of fine. So here we go. Luka blinds our whole team. We S1. This should kill. Oh, not quite. Guardian Ice Crystal's too OP, I guess. And then um, she's gonna S3. And then even though I'm blinded on Emil Ken, I'm just gonna Soul Burn anyway. And that's the kill. Now, looking at the next unit, I mean, sorry, next attack. Um, yeah, Secret Art Storm Swords, Sword of Cycling Seasons, 8.9k Selene. Things we already expected. And um, yeah, we're just going to S1 here. And we're going to probably put up a barrier, actually. Since Aiden's about to S3 on here, right? And it's Sword of Cycling Seasons. So we might as well just go for um, an S3. Like, why not? So I'm just going to go for an S3 on the Selene, because why not? And we didn't crit. Nice. So this S3 is going to go onto the D... Oh, well, I guess we should have hit the Arrowwell, actually. Because if we hit the Selene, that actually pushes the Arrowwell up in front of the Aiden. But that was kind of a misplay as well. That was a brainless uh, decision. So I guess we're just going to... um, Yeah, just S1 Aiden. Why not? Let him counter into us. Who cares? Not me. And he's one turn off S3. And just gonna S1 on this. So we actually stripped the arrow well, which is nice. Aiden no longer has a barrier, so we're pretty chilling. Gonna S3 now. And we know it's not Dust Devil Selene, so we'll be okay, right? So even if she S1s with attack buff, like, it's fine. We just gotta heal up with our, um, with our S3. So just gonna S1 this, and then this is gonna S3 onto the Aiden to kill. She be dead. Okay, we heal up 10k. Nice. And then now we just let them kind of recharge us, and all will be fine. Um, I think another option is uh, if you're gonna be fighting this team, you could just do like a Runka Pillas Amelia if your um, if your Pillas isn't on Rocket Punch. Because I'm like, eh, do I really want to spend 600k on ungearing my Rocket Punch Pillis and putting on, um, what you call it, um, like a tank Pillis? I'm like, not really. Not really exactly in the mood to do that and, and burn my gold as I'm already burning gold. So I was like, you know what, why don't we just do that, right? So this is going to charge up our DC and she is actually speed set, so she doesn't heal that much. And uh, an S1 from our Arrowwell should do the trick, but we'll never mind because she gets a barrier. Oh, or oh, we dual attack. No. All right, I guess uh, the cycle continues. So that's fine. I'm just gonna S1 on this because I can't Soul Burn S3 because uh, they're obviously on invents, and then I'm just gonna heal with the Katie's here. So we healed up. Secret art moves. All's good. Um, I wonder if I could just strip this. If I strip this, that'd be nice. Just so that we can just like completely avoid her life stealing at all. Uh, yep, so we stunned. Nice. So this can just tap the Selene. And this is going to move. He loses the barrier. I'm going to Soul Burn S3 with Decor. And I uh, should be able to kill. Um, even though it's like 32k HP arrow well. Yeah, there's not a lot of stuff in the game that can survive a DCS3, so that's dead. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. No ins today. Alright, so that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy. I know it's a bit slower and longer than usual, but 
Um, I just wanted to say, like, I am very appreciative of everybody who DM'd me, left a message on my video, um, and just, like, overall concern about, like, my well-being and just, yeah, in general. Um, I definitely don't want to be putting that type of energy out all the time, so um, it was just a bad day. Like, I didn't sleep. It, it, I usually don't attack at 3, 4, 5 a.m., um, so yeah, we're going to try to avoid that from now on. Um, but yeah, genuine thank you so much for just caring about me so much. Like it, it really is like just, it feels really crazy that there's people on the internet that like, that fuck with me like that, you know? So uh, thank you, actually. Um, and thank you to all my guildies too, who kind of got my back, you know, letting me know, you know, it's, it's all good. It's not a big deal that they don't really care. It's, it's fine, right? And just reassuring me. So I'm really thankful and I think one common mis misconception that I want to address is being kicked from Talentless for performing badly. And um, I, I, I've been here for, what, three seasons? Two and a half? I don't even know anymore. But, like, I haven't seen anybody get kicked from TL1 or TL2. I mean, it's always just, like, people wanting to move, take a break, whatever. So I don't want people to think that we have to, like, write essays or as much as it is, it's a good meme. But we definitely don't need to write essays. You don't get kicked. Like, it's fine. You know, like, shit happens. And... You know, other people have been to before, and myself included, so it's, it's not the end of the world, right? You you can't play perfect all the time, and especially when the meta's shifting, um, people can make mistakes. You know, there's so many external factors that come into it, and um, a lot of people also say that it's just a game. And while I agree it's just a game, but when you're playing in a competitive environment and you, you know, really want to do well and you want to kind of almost like make your teammates proud, right, and, um, you know, make their efforts not go wasted or if that makes sense um that's kind of why like you know myself and others would kind of like get down on your on ourselves because it's like damn it's like you know we got uh, we got guys here you know comp tracking we got guys here helping we got guys here damage calculating for us for me and it's like when you let them down it's like you don't want all that hard work to to go to waste right um with anything right with any sport i think but yeah overall yeah like seriously just thank you to everybody thank you to talentless I didn't write no fucking essay, all right? And yeah, that's it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, please drop a like and comment below as it really helps me with the algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. And maybe you'll pop by my stream sometime. So I'll see you then. Okay, bye.